one. Hey everyone, this is Elsie Kearns, your Chaos to Clarity coach. Tonight I am here with my colleague, Kate Holt, because we're gonna talk about love, Valentine's Day, and her workshop, Courageous Heart, a love workshop for people who want more love. And Kate is the executive director of Core Energetics, who's sponsoring this workshop this weekend, February 15th, 16th, right here in Philadelphia. Uh, Kate, I'm delighted to hear you talk about this because you've been leading groups for over 18 years on intimacy, sexuality, and we certainly all need a little more love. So tell us about this workshop and what people can expect to experience. Um, well, thank you, Elsie. Thanks for doing this with me. And as you as you just said that about over 18 years, I, I kind of chuckled inside because the very first group I led, I co-led with another colleague, a guy in Philadelphia, Jerry Evans, and it was called Intimacy Training. And, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's just kind of snowballed from there. So I thought that was interesting that you mentioned how long I've been leading groups. We didn't even talk about that. Uh, so yeah, this Courageous Heart Workshop is, is something like, you know, I notice as I'm working with people doing core energetics, how much courage it is for them to risk showing their heart, revealing themselves, because that is how we get to the root of issues. And so I just, you know, had this thought, I want to have a courageous heart workshop and it's a love workshop. And I thought, what better time to do it than Valentine's weekend, you know, because so many people, I hear them saying, you know, Valentine's day brings up stuff for me. I either, I want to ignore it or I want to pretend it's not there or, you know, for people who are in relationship, sometimes if the relationship uh, doesn't fit the Hallmark card, they can have a lot of discomfort around that for people who are not in relationship at all or are struggling to establish uh, a love relationship, then Valentine's Day can bring that stuff up for them. And I thought this is a great time for people to work on what gets in the way of them having the love that they want in their life. What gets in the way of um, either, as I said, establishing relationship or having the kind of intimate connection that you want in the relationship you're already in. So that's that's what this is about. It's Saturday and Sunday in Philadelphia. And um, yeah, so I just wanna see if you wanna say anything at this moment because I can go on. <laughs> well, well let, let, me just, let me just say that I know that you interviewed Jeff Brown, maybe it was last year, uh, the author on mm -hmm. the summit, but there was a great quote that you put down in the copy for this. And I was so struck about it because it's so true to what you just said. And the quote is that love needs an entry point. If the emotional body is all blocked up with unresolved material, there is no way in. So the more we empty the vessel before it comes the more space love has to flourish. Healing our hearts gives love a place to land. Jeff Brown's quote. So talk a little more about that because that's yeah. perfect. Thank you. Yeah, Jeff is so articulate about 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 the the somatic work, you know, about bringing the body into these personal development processes. Hey, Heidi, I just see she's saying hello yeah. there. Um, and and also Tracy, hi Tracy. On, yeah. So anyway, yeah, so, you know, Jeff talks about the emotional body and maybe not everybody knows what that means, but in terms of this work, when, when you uh, develop a pattern of protection where you're trying to protect your heart or you're trying to, um, lower your risk of feeling vulnerable it it's not just in your in your emotional self you like you might be aware of the emotions that go with that but it's also happening in your physical body 
So it's like your, your physical body has an emotional life, if you could think of it that way. So he talks about love having an entry point. Like if the, if the vessel, your body is blocked in so many ways that you, you can't let love in, then, then love can't come in. It doesn't matter how much love is coming toward you. If, if you have that place in you, that's afraid to really receive it. And so, you know, it's one of the things that we will definitely be focusing on in the workshop is our capacity to give and our capacity to receive. And so we might think, well, I'm generous. I give a lot. But if you give from, if like, what's your motivation when you give is a really important aspect and something that we can look at. But also, um, what, let's say you want to receive, right? You, somebody's loving you or, you know, even your family, your friends, you're, you're getting love. And yet there's a way that you're not quite letting it in. Like you can't come away with a satisfied feeling. And that has to do with those patterns of protection that are just not only in your psyche, but they're also in your body. So when we do this work together, we get to sort of test the edges of where where we're blocking and and trying to have like little experiences that that as i said like test those edges and see can i let a little bit more in in this moment right here so lots of little subtle things will happen in the weekend that may seem insignificant in and of themselves but they actually are changing each person's capacity to give and receive love so that's some of the things and then he talks about emptying the vessel um i think of my body as a vessel for energy flow and my emotions flow on that energy system and so it's really not quite about being empty as much as it is about being open to flow right so you can go to a healer and they can put hands on you and you might you might feel opened up for a little while but then your your own protective patterns will often come into play again and you'll get blocked up again armored up again with protection and so this work is about it's not just changing your energy from the outside it's it's changing it from the inside and getting consciousness and understanding about where that comes from so that you can um you know try on a new behavior and see if it allows more to come in or try on something with a partner in an exercise that helps you understand what how you might be pushing love away and how you can let it in more so people will, will get a sense of how they might be unconsciously blocking love and then they'll also get sense a sense of how they can take small steps to to let it in yeah, so that's a lot of what we're going to be doing. So, Kate, you know, I've done some workshops with you. And what I was so aware of is that place of vulnerability. And it's interesting that you're calling this courageous heart because everyone has a certain fear about being vulnerable. But when you're in that group setting and being held by the group and you mm -hmm. see the vulnerability that people are willing to share, it's really inspiring. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I think, and when one person does a little piece of work where mm -hmm. they make themselves vulnerable and open their heart and reveal themselves, it inspires everyone in the room, it affects everyone in the room. And, you know, so it can affect you in two ways. One is that it might help to open your heart more. And another way is that it might trigger something in you that helps you understand where you might be blocking. And then that person gets to do a little piece of work to, to explore that. And, you know, it's a holistic approach. You know, we're looking at the mind, the body, the spirit, the emotions, and it's, it's never, not, none of them are ever getting left out. You know, it's like, I might and, and give you an exercise or I might have an intuition about something in your body. And then that will, support some some shift emotionally some shift energetically 
and even cognitively, right? Because when you're um, when you're blocked, when you have blocked energy in your body, and and then your emotional life is stilted, then you also have um, it affects your cognition. It affects the way you think. So when you open up that flow, you know your thinking changes. So maybe something that you were uh, repellent from, you know, that you thought, oh, I'll never do that. Suddenly you have courage and interest in doing something that you never thought you would do before. So, you know, think that there, there, it's sort of, I mean, some people will say it's magical, right? It's not magic. There's a, there's an art and a science to it, but it can feel like magic when you're in a group and you're being, you know, loved by the people in the group because we set the container so that people feel um, feel like they can reveal themselves. We set up, you know, confidentiality agreements and and ask for people to bring an attitude of acceptance, and that creates a safety for people to go to the next level to look at the next aspect in their life. Okay, you have always tackled these really difficult places for us to go. Mm -hmm. So I want you to help us understand because many people may not know really more about what core energetics really is and what kind of training is available for this as well as, you know, workshops and different things that they can attend. Well, I think, you know, the best way for people to get a sense about core energetics is to come and try out either you know, a workshop or a free lecture experiential type thing. We have a lot of those in New York, but sometimes in Philadelphia. And an intro weekend or a weekend workshop like the Courageous Heart Workshop, you know, gives you a real sense of the work. But I think the, the big thing that maybe helps people understand what it's all about is, I think a lot of us have a sense that, that our difficulties in establishing relationships or even our difficulties in manifesting our career in the way that we want or feeling like, feeling like a leader in our own family you know the things that get in the way of that are linked to our past and there's material there that you may some of it you may know about it consciously and and you can talk about it and think about it but as much as you think to yourself I am, I am going to let in more love today. I'm going to let in more love today. You know, you can do affirmations, you can do all these things and they will help you to a point. But then when, when the sort of the fight or flight comes in, if there's some fear, your old pattern will, will resurface. And so as we move, the, uh, move through the emotions that are connected with that pattern, often the pattern doesn't have to kick in so so readily so that's not to say it's never going to kick in but it it you're just not going to be triggered as often or you're not going to feel as afraid or um you might not feel uh some of the the things that got in your way before are are going to feel you're going to feel freer and 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 more open and able to receive and able to give and I say that able to give and to receive, like as if that's the only thing. Of course, that's not the only thing, but it's a really important thing in terms of really giving yourself your self affirmation, affirming who you are, feeling your self worth, feeling your ability to to engage with others and know that you'll be able to bring your voice. And you, you know, one of the um, one of the things that gets in, in people's way a lot is uh, the issue of control pattern, right? So, you know, maybe they're in a couple and they're they're feeling controlled by their partner or they wanna control their partner. I, you know, I know a lot of people who have this issue and they think, well, if my partner would just do X, Y, or Z, right. I would feel better. And that's really, it's, I mean, that may be true, but it's not, it's not the root of the, of the concern. The root of the concern is within and what's it like to surrender control and trust and see what happens if you just sit with desire as opposed to 
I'm going to show you how to behave, you know? So all of those patterns that show up in relationship show up in the work of core energetics. So you, you sort of asked about the training and I'll just say that the core energetics training, this is not some weekend workshop. We, we have a four year training to become certified as a practitioner. And of course I've been teaching this work for many, many years. And as you said, leading groups and, and doing individual work. So it, it's not, uh, it's a rigorous training. It's not, you know, it's not a weekend certification but you can come and get the benefit of a weekend very easily. And, and then you see if it's something that, that calls to you, you know, that, that something you want to go further with. Mm -hmm. And of course we have a four year training program, but we also have, you know, a two year personal development program and we have weekend retreats and, you know, we, we, we're going to be starting some webinars soon. So there are going to be a lot of options for people, a lot of, a lot of entry points, so to speak, for, for people to get a more of a sense of that work. But I'll just say this core in, in this work refers to the heart, right? If you think coronary, C-O-R, the core is about the heart. And John Paracos, who founded the work, also referred to it as an acronym, C-O-R-E, the center of right energy. You know, so that's all connected with the heart. The, the bulk of this work is about physically and emotionally and spiritually opening your heart. And you, you have a physical sensation of it when you do it. Well, it sounds just as exciting as I remember some of those mm -hmm. <laughs> workshops with you. And I know people will benefit. And if anyone has any questions, they can type them in for us as well. So it's this weekend. Kate, hey, give us all the details and the call. Yeah. How yeah. can people register? What do they need to do? Okay. So first of all, I want to say as a thank you to you, Elsie, and in honor of you doing this Be Live with me tonight, I'm I'm going to be offering a discount code to get 20% off. So okay. the workshop is Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5. It's at the Philadelphia Rebirthing Center. And we will post a link in the comments uh, so people can get registered. It's three ninety seven, but if they if they put in the code Elsie E L S I E, they'll get twenty percent off until midnight tonight. Uh -huh. So um, hopefully, some people will be able to take advantage of that. And that's yeah. So the Philadelphia Rebirthing Center. The, the one thing I have to say about it is it is not. Um, uh, what's I want to find the politically correct terminology. It's not as accessible. Uh, there are stairs. That's really what I want people to oh, know. Okay. But, you know, if you're able to climb a flight of stairs, you'll be able to come and join us. Mm -hmm. And um, because it, it's on the third floor, the, the, the workshop space, which is really, really lovely. And lots of good work happens in that center. And so, you know, we have a really nice relationship with them. And it'll be, as I said, 10 to five on Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be a well, relatively intimate group and people will have an opportunity to really do some um, deep work, but I really like to keep it light. People tend to have fun at my workshops. They tend to laugh when they're at my workshops. You've been there, you know, um, sure. and, you know, it's not, it's not like I'm telling jokes. That's not what I mean. You know? but, but Kate knows great music. She puts that music on, gets us all dancing. You can help but have fun. You really, yeah. Yeah. And the music is fun. And, and really, mostly we have fun laughing at ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. that's the, and that is another important aspect to be able to look at yourself and see where your challenges are. You've got to be able to laugh at yourself, too. And so that's something that feels really important to me. And it, it's part of the pleasure of my work. And I think it's, I hope, I think it's part of the pleasure for the people who come and work with me. So I'm also going to put Kate's phone number and email is up there. If you have any questions, you can email or call her, text Absolutely. her. 
Okay, your text number's up there. And we're gonna put that code, Elsie, E-L-S-I-E, on the comments if you wanna go ahead and sign up and join the group and be courageous, bring that courageous heart. So yeah. Kim, thanks so much for telling us about this and oh, I know it's going to be very successful. It will be. And I'm, I hope I get to meet some of your followers in there tonight. I, I mean, who are on here tonight or watch the replay, but just remember that that discount code goes away at midnight. Okay. S I E you get 20% off. Yeah. So thanks a lot, everybody. And again, Heidi and Tracy and a couple of others for joining us yeah, live. Thanks for joining. Okay. Have a good night and we hope to see you this weekend. Take care.